so hi guys you remember i had posted a question for you on ehlard and lowe syndrome isn't it so here is a quick explanation to that question a very very important uh, question and i know students find it very difficult to remember the subtypes of ehlard and lowe syndrome so just a quick view remember ehlard and lowe syndrome is a defect is a it is a heterogeneous disease which occurs because of defect of collagen or enzymes which you know uh, help in make proper formation of collagen or even in the extracellular matrix which helps our interacts with collagen so it's basically a defect of collagen pro, uh, collagen per se that is some genes which code for collagen so either they cause structural defects of collagen or the enzymes basically which help in proper formation of collagen so that is why the inheritance of uh, ehlard and lowe syndrome can vary okay so it can be autosomal dominant or it can be autosomal recessive all of you know if there is ever an enzyme mutation it is going to be autosomal recessive whereas whenever there is a structural uh, defect of the collagen it has to be autosomal dominant so keep that in mind whenever you remember the subtypes so majority of the times because there is a defect of collagen 1 collagen 3 and collagen 5 so therefore these collagens are usually extend uh, usually extensively present in skin okay and your joints uh, uh, because these are usually present in your skin and joints the typical manifestations are usually in the presence of hyperextensibility of the skin or there is hypermobility of the joint and there are tissue fragility some so there are some tissues also which are rich in you know these collagens like blood vessels or uh, your uh, organs like uterus or your intestines so that is why they can present with tissue fragility so to say with eds that is ehlard and lowe syndrome is basically a triad so let's look at it uh, as i told you so ehlard and lowe syndrome is a triad of basically what are the three things skin hyperextensibility joint hypermobility and tissue fragility so now let's remember how to remember the subtypes because that's what is the most frequent question that is asked isn't it so so how do you remember the subtypes of uh, ehlard and lowe syndrome remember there are 11 molecular uh, subtypes and of course there are six types which are known but 11 molecular subtypes are there so how do we remember it as again keep one thing clear in your mind it can be structural defect in collagen or it can be an enzymatic defect so the first one is the classical type so whenever we talk about the classical type we basically label it as 1 and 2 so in this the most common defect is in the collagen type 5 okay it can be alpha 1 or alpha 2 chain okay so collagen 5 a1 or collagen 5 a2 can be the defect in classical type okay so they present this is this is one of the most common types so classical type which we all have have to remember and it's uh labeled as classical type apart from that the second type we have hypermobile remember the genes of all the ehlard and lowe syndrome is known except the hypermobility type so it is actually hypermobility type and its gene is not known genes of all the others are known okay except the hypermobility type okay apart from that we have the vascular type vascular type is basically due to defect of collagen type 3 and collagen type 3 is rich in the blood vessels and your intestines so these patients usually present with either you know rupture of the aorta or your intestine ruptures that's very common in these vascular types okay so collagen 3 is defective because the structural protein of collagen is defective this is autosomal dominant okay hypermobility we don't know the gene yet but we know it is autosomal dominant in inheritance the classical is autosomal dominant in inheritance right now coming to the kyphoscoliosis type which is called as type of 4 remember now here we have a defect of a gene called plod1 so this plod1 gene basically codes for lysyl hydroxylase so this is very important all of you know hydroxylation of lysine is very very important for proper formation of the collagen okay so when this uh, plod1 is defective lysyl hydroxylase is not formed properly so what will happen is the lysine residues will not get hydroxylated and what will happen is proper collagen will not be formed so because this is a defect of the enzyme lysyl hydroxylase a gene which codes for an enzyme okay therefore it is autosomal recessive in inheritance and remember because here the collagen uh, are defective because of, of an enzyme this defect usually presents with retinal detachments okay so these usually can have retinal det 